Hello friends, once again welcome you to my channel. So in this video we are going to see fetching a word from memory, storing a word into memory and performing an ALU operation. So last video actually we are talking about that whenever we are performing any operation or any instruction, basically we are doing four operations. We are transferring some content from register to one register to another or to the ALU or we are bringing something from memory or we are storing something into memory or we are performing any ALU operation. So these four operations we perform mostly uh, in some sequence to execute one particular instruction. So before going to see how one instruction is executed, what are the signals generated in that process. Before that we will see the small small sub operations, how they are performed and what are the signals required whenever we are performing these operations. The first one already we have seen in our last video that is from one register to another register how the content is moved. The next one is fetching a word from memory from this we will start this video. So see fetching a word from memory. So example of this instruction we have taken like this move within bracket r1 comma r2 meaning is what this is one instruction it is located somewhere it will be brought into my processor then decoded and then executed here i am not discussing the fetching of an instruction and decoding i am simply doing the execution part so when we execute this instruction what we are supposed to do we are supposed to move the content of memory location which is pointed by register r1 into register r2 that means in simple language i can say r1 is having one address at that address some data is there that data we need to move to register r2 where is the data in memory where is the address in r1 right where you need to move into r2 so this part we need to do so see we will be doing all these things with respect to our single bus cpu organization so last uh, video we have described that how this uh, uh, bus is working and all the various components are there. So see, we need to get something from memory. To get something from memory, from the whole memory, from where you need to get something that you need to mention to the memory first. What is that? Address. So from which location you want to get something that you need to tell to the memory. Via whom you can tell? Via, via MAR. Because MAR is connected to the address line of your memory chip. So transfer the address into MAR. First part is that. First point. Second point is uh, what I have to do. I have given the address. Then I need to tell the memory give me the address. Sorry give me the data. That is read signal. So next read signal will be given. Then next is as soon as we, told, uh, we will tell memory to give us something. Memory will not be able to give it instantly. Because memory is a slower component compared to the processor. So processor has to wait till data comes from the memory. So during that time processor will be waiting for the MFC signal to come from memory. So once memory will give MFC, what does it mean? Data has already come. Where your data comes from memory? Here in the diagram we know that here in the memory module data will come on the bus and that will come to MDR. Then from MDR, wherever we need to take, we, need, we can move to. We can move it to that particular location. So see, this is our uh, sequence of operations that we need to do. So data from, once waiting is over, data from MDR will be transferred to the destination. So in our scenario, what I have to do? Transfer the address into MR. Where is my address? Address is in register R1. So basically in this step, what I will do? content of R1 register will be moved to MAR. And in last video, we have seen how the register contents are moved from one to another. One register content will be placed on the bus and in another register, the content from the bus will be taken into the register. So as you remember that with each register, there are two switches connected, right? Two switches are connected and these switches are controlled via two signals. One is in signal, one is out signal. So if your, uh, and this is my bus, right? This is my bus. So see, if my out signal is on, that means data from the register will be placed on the bus via the switch. The switch will be on means there is a path between the bus and the register. 
so data will go to the bus and whenever it is in the in signal is on that means data from the bus will become will be coming into the register and one more thing i have mentioned that in the beginning of the clock pulse both the signals will be on data will be transferred on the bus in the beginning of the clock cycle and by the end of the clock cycle from the bus data will move to the corresponding register whose in signal is on right so that much we know so now we need to proceed with the signals so first what i have to do r1 content i need to place on the bus because my address is in r1 so r1 out first i have to do and then that register content we need to take to mar so mar in this part is done then uh, this control unit will generate one read signal to the memory so read so these three things we will do together in the same clock cycle we will be doing these three signals activation these three signals will be activated together in the same clock cycle once it is done then um, uh, we need to wait for mfc so in the same cycle where you have given a signal to memory as read in the same clock cycle we cannot give the signal wmfc to memory in the same cycle two signals will not be given to the memory so in the next clock cycle only we'll be giving wmfc right we'll be giving wmfc right please understand why i have not written wmfc in the first line because whatever things i can do together in the same clock cycle that we will group in one step the next step will come whenever the in the previous step i cannot accommodate that signal so step 2 is there for wmfc now it is not guaranteed that within one clock cycle i will come out of wmfc that means in one clock cycle it is not guaranteed that i am going to receive a mfc signal from memory depending on the speed of memory maybe one cycle two cycle three cycle memory will give me data then it will give me mfc then w i can come out of wmfc who am i i am the processor right so that part is there so in generally one clock cycle corresponds to one step but whenever it is wmfc and all that time it is not guaranteed that the step 2 will be completed within a single cycle it depends on the speed of the memory now another point is here what is this mdr in e see whenever i am doing reading operation data will come into mdr from where from your memory module so here your memory module is connected so what i have written mdr in e means external side in signal of for mdr there are total four connection in and out towards the internal bus in and out with the external data bus so external side in signal is on for mdr that means uh, mdr in is uh, on whenever uh, from this side that means data will come from memory to this mdr we are activating this signal once data is there on the bus it will be sent to the mdr right so that is there and see one more thing as soon as we give this read signal that time only this in signal is activated so the duration or the duration of this signal is equal to the duration of the read signal due to that uh, we um, assume that as soon as read signal is given this signal is also activated so we are not going to write this signals uh, afterwards now, now onwards we are not going to write this signal anymore we'll assume as soon as we have given read signal this signal is also activated so in step 2 we we'll mostly write wmfc that means we are waiting for the data to come from memory once it is over that means data is there in mdr so we will give the data from mdr to where according to this instruction i need to transfer it in into register r2 so it is r2 right so mdr out r2 again there may be a doubt why not mdr out is written here i cannot write in the same clock cycle i cannot do mdr out wherever i get wm mfc signal by the end of that clock cycle data will enter your mdr then in the next clock cycle only data from mdr will be transferred to r2 register so because of that the next step is coming into picture here see two things are there to understand one is which signals i require then in which group they are there means why why can't i write the signal in the first line second line and all 
that we need to understand another key point i have mentioned here read and wmfc will not be given in the same clock cycle and wherever wmfc signal is there in any step then it is not guaranteed that that step will be completed within a same clock cycle within one clock cycle and another point i have said mdr in e if this signal is activated as soon as read signal is given so we are not going to activate it uh, uh, now onwards as soon as you have given read signal we will assume that this part of mdr in is activated so this is all about fetching a word from memory right hope this part is understood then next one is storing a word into memory that means how we can store a word into memory now see what does this mean this instruction means content of r2 should be placed in a memory location whose address is there in r1 so you are going to send something from processor side to the memory to which location you are going to give r1 see whenever we tell go and give it to this one okay, go and give then you will ask to whom to give so that means first i need to tell the person what is the address then what to then next is give these three signals i need to activate then only i can perform the giving operation whom to give what to give and then give the signal so that only here also will do address first i need to set in mar then i need to give the data in mdr then only issue the write operation after giving address do not issue write the operation first set the data in mdr and then the write operation and then you need to wait for operation to complete because in the same cycle where you have mentioned write in the same cycle you are not going to uh, uh, complete the writing operation so you need to wait for that operation to complete once your waiting period is over that means data whatever was there in mdr is written into the memory location that whose address is there in mar right so in this example what is the address where i want to write it is the content of register r1 so r1 content will be moved to mar so r1 out mar in can i write here mdr out because i need to set the data sorry i need to set the data in mdr where is my data in r2 so can i write r2 out here no why no because already r1 out is there that means r1 data is on the bus at the same time we can't do r2 out then two data will be placed on the bus and it will be nothing but a garbage so in the next clock cycle only r2 data r2's content will be placed on the bus from there it will be given to mdr hope this part is clear why i am not writing it in the same cycle because if i put the same cycle two out content on the single bus it will be a garbage second step r2 out mdr in this is done now from here i can give a signal in the same cycle to the memory that is my write signal i have given the write signal and i know in the same cycle i am not going to generate wmfc to the memory rather it will be in the next step so it is wmfc i'll uh, wmfc will wait for the memory function to complete once the memory function is complete what does it mean this data is written into this memory location and what this line is doing mdr out e because your data is going to the memory so out of external side is activated right this signal uh, span is also similar to that of your write signal so once you write uh, once you generate write signal that means this signal is also activated so we need not have to generate it separately for the first time i have mentioned this next time onwards whenever i perform a write operation i am not going to write this as soon as you do this this is also activated done so wmfc once you come out of wmfc what does it mean data is written so here three steps are for the operation coming into fourth step indicates completion of my operation so this is all about storing a word into memory these are two very important operations we will see them number of times in our instruction execution so thank you so much and if you are getting from my explanation then please like my videos and subscribe to my channel thank you